In three, two, one, go. Welcome to the Pikachu event qualification four. We're in the aut autonomous period. This is where they can get the easiest points just leaving their community. They can score three points for their teams, but plenty of points to score by scoring game pieces as well. As we exit the autonomous period, we move into teleop. That's a fancy word for human controlled. Our students have taken over the control of these robots and are now scoring as many game pieces as they can for the remainder two minutes and 15 seconds. 3147 Purple Precision looking to place the code on the high grid. They are successful, scoring five points for their alliance. The higher they place those game pieces, the more points they can find for their team. 135, that's Pen Robotics looking to move around and leave their community to score pieces for their alliance. The human players can enter game pieces during the team's loading zone. 8116 Hatchet Robotics is just sitting outside of their loading zone waiting for their human player to deliver a cone. They have a unique mechanism that uses gravity to orient their pieces. On the other side of the field, 3147 Purple Precision making quick work of their cone and delivering it into their Red Alliance station. Remember, they're trying to make points in the grid. The grid are those places over by their community against their Alliance wall station. They're trying to make links. The so links is three in a row across the grid. They're looking to get five of those for an additional ranking points, which will determine our overall ranking in the competition here today. About 50 seconds remain in our match. Let's check in on our team, 1741, making quick use of the center of their field. Lots of robot-on-robot -robot contact during the center of the day's field. As long as they keep that contact to a minimal, they will not be penalized. 292 Panther Tech making their way across the field as well with the robot Sergeant Joe, getting some defense from 1741, preventing them from scoring additional game pieces. We now enter end game. We'll start seeing robots migrate their way towards their charge stations. They're trying to make sure it's in a level configuration. The more robots they can get in contact with the charge station, the more points they can make for their team. About 10 seconds remaining in the match for these teams to gather up final points. The score is currently 80 to 100, but a lot can change during the end game. Red Alliance balanced. We'll have to see how these scores total up. Let's see our scores for qualification match four. The winner is the Red Alliance. With a score of 182 to Blue Alliance's 91. They get four ranking points since they're able to generate enough links in the grid. Two for winning, one for autonomy.